Everyone bracing for more losses as we watch the world markets take a big hit overnight, sort of correcting, catching up to our big loss yesterday. And as we launch into Tuesday trading, take a look. The Dow uh, already down with some big losses. Again, a live look here on Wall Street trading resumes. There were a lot of confused and unhappy faces here yesterday. Uh, but again, an 1100 point drop in one day, marking the largest sell off in history. The Dow, as trading resumes, uh, according to futures, putting it down about two to 300 points at the start uh, with the opening bell. But uh, important to get some perspective on all of this this morning. Scott Smallman joins us live again here on King 5 Mornings. He's the senior vice president of investments for Wedbush Securities in Seattle. Scott, what do you make of the start of trading so far today? Haven't had a chance to see the big board yet. Well, we're about uh, you know just a few seconds away from the start, and the futures have been rattling all around this morning. Uh, in terms of the Dow futures, I've seen them down uh, you know as much as upper 300s, and as little as down maybe only 50 or 75 points. So you know the truth will be known uh, in just a few seconds. But the last look was down 161, is what we're supposed to open up at. So is that indicative of another really just crazy day, like we saw yesterday? Well, it's, it's kind of like you know, when, you, when you throw a rock, you know, the first ripple's the biggest one, and then they tend to get a little bit smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. So I wouldn't expect it to be quite as volatile as yesterday. It'll be volatile, but I don't think it'll be quite as crazy as yesterday was. Okay. And real quick, what can the average Joe investor do right now? You know, the most important thing, and we say this every time we see volatility either upward or downward, is stick to your plan. If you stick to your plan, you're going to be fine. If you start yeah. trying to too aggressively deviate from your plan, that's where you can make big mistakes. Scott Smallman with Wedbush Securities.